Only here at 5 o'clock, a man nearly carjacked downtown with his child in the back seat. A terrifying ordeal as state leaders grapple with how to best provide accountability for juvenile offenders, and Baltimore's mayor defends his record. So, WJZ investigator Mike Helgren live in your corner on Federal Hill tonight with much more on what's being done now. Mike, good evening. Good evening, Rick. There have been several assaults and carjackings recently in Baltimore City involving children as young as 12 years old. We spoke to a man who was uh, almost carjacked just steps from here, and it was a frightening ordeal for him and his young child. Under my leadership, we saw the largest single year reduction in homicides the city's ever seen. Under my leadership, we've open uh, more rec centers than we have in many, many decades. We Just weeks before the primary election, Mayor Brandon Scott defended his record on crime, telling WJZ carjackings are down 5%, and between July and mid-February, there were 471 juvenile arrests. He says the city is working to engage with young people as spring break approaches. There have been tragic incidents that have resulted in young people being put in harm's way. On Sunday in Federal Hill, a man was sitting in his SUV on Wheeling Street near the intersection with Light Street when multiple young people approached, opened his doors, and punched him. They stole his keys, but he was able to drive off anyway. Police later arrested a 15 year old and a 16 year old. They clearly knew what they were doing. This didn't seem like their first rodeo. They, they saw my child, my eight year old child, inside the car. And they still proceeded to try to steal my car, and not only steal my car, but abduct my child in the car. You know, I mean, that didn't even stop them. The only thing that stopped them is the fact that I turned on the car uh, and re uh, was reversing out. Um, that's when they started running. This is one of several recent violent incidents involving juveniles in Baltimore City, including last Friday on Sinclair Lane, where police arrested a 13 year old and a 14 year old after they committed an armed robbery, fled, and struck a police car in a vehicle stolen in a second armed robbery. One week ago, a man was punched and assaulted with a lacrosse stick on Light Street near the Inner Harbor. A 13 year old was arrested. Also last week, a 12 year old was arrested after fleeing police in a car stolen from Anne Arundel County and released to his parent. Because because of his age, police say they could not issue any citations. They clearly um, knew in the back of their mind that there would be no repercussions, there would be no accountability, and that they could proceed and do whatever it is that they wanted to do. Now, the General Assembly is currently working to pass legislation that could make juvenile offenders more accountable, particularly those under age 13. For now, we're live in Federal Hill. Mike Helgren, WJZ. All right, Mike, thank you.